is up? What is up? I just did some survival mode and training mode because my internet was down. But now my internet's back up, so we're gonna go... Where are we going? Network mode. That's right. That's where we are. <laughs> oh, menus. Why are you so crazy? Okay, search for anything. Shit. This is even less than it already was. What the hell? Right. Uh... Yes, this is right. Yes. Custom search. Shit. Why are there... Why is there even less shit... Available... Right now... Then how do I search again? Start. Why has everybody gotta have a fucking different... It will just come in here. Fuck it, let's go in there. Let's just go into the practice and casual room. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Maybe not. Ah, uh, there we go. See, I have, um, since you're not gonna see the other video until after this one, I might get kicked though, because I'm the only one bar asshole in this bitch. Maybe I should have, maybe I should have waited a little bit, like if my internet's been down for about half an hour. Maybe it might have been a good plan to wait for a little bit, because it's probably not at its, uh, best at the moment, but whatever. Uh... I have learned two new combos. We have obviously the two that I was already doing. Oh, uh, I guess one and a half since I can't finish the corner specific combo for the life of me. But now I have a command grab into rapid cancel confirm, which is remarkably different in that I do command grab into rapid cancel straight into combo one. It's, it's very new, very uh, different, required a lot of practice to get that one down. <laughs> and then I have an overhead confirm. Technically two overhead confirms, I guess. You have, and it's actually kind of ironic. I guess I'm not good at getting about, I'm good at getting halfway through them on both. But I think I need to find different confirm mid-screen. Because the confirm I'm using right now kind of sends them a little bit too far away for me to um, continue it. I don't know, it's something I need to work on. But if I am too laggy, because obviously I don't want to be... Uh-oh. Poor bastard. Oh, actually, I think that's a mirror match at the Gordo. I think the Gordo won. Well, I don't even know. Oh, they're not going to play Gordo. Whatever. Oh, they are. I don't know. I don't think I know anything. I'm just going to shut up. Never, dude. Kaze ga sawagashi na. Oshiki na jikan desu. Fast close. Fine, maybe we're gonna learn something here. Maybe not. Ooh, that looks dirty. Looks like a free, uh... Person needs to stop matching buttons. Oh, hey, I did learn something. I actually didn't know that you could cancel 5C and 6B. Okay, so I clearly joined the correct room here. And sad, neither one of these people know what the hell they do. That's an overhead. Probably wasn't aware of that. That's an overhead. The la I think I think it's just the last hit. So, I mean, it's not like it's particularly hard to block because you have them for like two seconds. Just start walking high there. Can't believe that combo. 3C has a ton of unsexual stuff, huh? In my name, ha! I mean, I'm fairly certain I have never heard English voices in this game, which probably means there are not English voices in this game. But it's still just kind of like, you know, just thinking about it. Why are there... 
Why did it take so long between the Japanese console release to this console release if there aren't even, like, there's no story mode for them to translate, there's no voice, there's no dubbing for them to do. Oh, what the hell took the game so long? Nice. <laughs> Oh, nice! That should not have all worked, but I guess that's the kind of character we're going with. That's kind of like top tier characters in a nutshell, huh? Just a bunch of things that just sitting there like, that should not have worked. But it did. Nice. I should I shouldn't shit talk because I'm probably gonna end up getting my ass kicked here. Cause I'm gonna have performance anxiety. I'm gonna get to the moment fondling ladies trying to show off my talents. And it's oh never mind, I'm not even up to, Oh wait, yes I am. Cause one and two battle and I guess three is up next. Alright, hopefully I my connection isn't too bad here. Just, you know, cross your fucking fingers. What's the RIP mean? Why isn't this dude fucking selecting his character? <laughs> Nobody wants to wait this long! What the fuck are you doing? Oh god, this looks awful. Yeah, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna, I apologize, it's gonna be bad. Ow. Yeah, this is bad. I'm sorry. Oh, that's the safe one, my bad. Nice grab, Nate. It's kind of crazy, this dude didn't even do a single combo, but he still almost killed me. Darn. I thought I'd call him out. I figured he'd be mashing. Okay, so that was a terrible first showing. <laughs> Sorry. I'll try one more match. Cause I don't wanna be I don't wanna be the laggy motherfucker. How do I do that? How do I how do I do that? Select looks like. Select, select. Great game. I'm sorry it was so fucking laggy. I apologize for that. <laughs> Damn it. See yeah, like why is my color why is my regular color up there now? What the fuck? I don't understand, like, I know colors are based upon, like, what button you press, but I thought, I thought that was, I thought the 
Dark skinned one. I thought that was a sign to my A button, my X button, I guess. But apparently it's not. Nope, we bad again. Alright, I'm pass after this. I'm sorry, people. I'm sorry I put you through this. Y'all don't deserve this. You deserve better. And I'll put you through nonsense. I don't know anything about this character. This connection is actually much better than the other one. People want to drop that. My command grab didn't work! I don't know when the fuck to press buttons! Damn, I called it out. I called it out, but I can't confirm properly because I forget how little range he has on his A button. Damn it, alright, that was way too slow on mediocre that. Jesus Christ, can I hit one combo, please? Alright, sorry, brother. I'm sorry. I mean, like I said, that connection was much better than the previous one, but it was still obviously not optimal. I am in the wrong lobby. I have invaded these- No, that's not what I fucking wanted! Damn it, what are all the buttons over here? Great game, I'm out, I'm sorry. Y'all don't deserve me. I mean, I, I don't deserve you. I'm sorry, that was the wrong way around. I went from trying to be humble to being the cockiest asshole in the room. <laughs> Y'all ain't good enough to see me! Let's just try and do one plus, I guess, and I'll just- wait, what? The fuck is the difference? What are network colors? Is that like, is that the, like, colored bar, you know, like the blue, orange, yellow, all that shit? Is that what that's supposed to be, I guess? So we'll wait for a little bit, and if we don't get nothing, then, then I guess I'll just leave. That'll be it. Y'all saw two matches of me, even though they weren't good, even though I missed everything. I did one combo. I said that I'd learned four, but I did one. <laughs> Oh boy. Let me see. Let's let's go look through all this stuff. Kick player, change auto pass. Alright, so who cares about that shit? Let's see what kind of messages we can do. Let's check my player info. That's the wrong button. Oh. I see. I have to click on it. So is RIP is that that must be ranked shit? Ranked integrated points. Ranked invested points. I don't know. So all of my shit is with high. You don't see any of my shit because all of this is ranked except for the very bottom, the very bottom section, the very last page. It shows a little bit elsewhere of not ranked shit. Really? Really? Really, really? I'm sorry, I don't have anything to talk about. I need to actually, you know what I should be doing here? I should be, uh, kind of like keeping a list of things. Wait, what? I'm sorry, what now? I just checked Twitter to see if there's anything worth talking about. Looks like Transistor is 66% off. You can get the Transistor plus the soundtrack, which I will be perfectly honest. If you purchase Transistor and you do not purchase the soundtrack, you have made one of the biggest mistakes you will ever make in your life. 
the soundtrack. I still listen to the soundtrack for Transistor, both of them, Transistor, Bastion. I listen to them basically on a daily basis, really, because I kind of have uh, a playlist where, like, I have a bunch of different playlists, but the one that I listen to the most is the one that I just call Best Music, which is just this massive compilation. There's no genre of it. There's nothing really that ties it all together in any kind of cohesiveness. It's just, I love this. This is like the best music in my library, and almost all of them are songs that I will just, I'll listen to at any point in time, because I love them that much. And there are quite a few uh, Bastion and Transistor songs involved there, so I may actually, I'm gonna keep that link open, because I might buy that. Let me see, all right. What, uh, is there anything else? No, there's not. No, there, there's nothing else. There's nothing else. But I was just gonna say, I should try to start keeping like a side list. Similar to how I've been maintaining a list of, um, 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 what am I trying to say? Oh, a list of things to talk about in the Nate Talk section? I should try to, like, you know, things that I can just randomly talk about, things that happened to me, maybe, uh, experiences that, you know, maybe I had in class, maybe I had at work, maybe I just had them randomly, things I saw, you know, that aren't really important enough to talk about in the Nate Talks, you know, like, they're not really a topic that I want to discuss at any depth. But just something that I can talk about whilst, as our network mode thing is showing us, I am idle. It gives me a topic to talk about, and I don't have to just try and, like, flounder for some bullshit. But actually, you know what? We're on Steam. We're going to talk about Steam. We're going to talk about Steam making me mad. I don't know if this is how it is for anybody else. But recently, for some reason, the regular login for Steam isn't, like, actually truly logging me in. Because whenever I try to look at my wish list, and I'm gonna go do this right now, and it's probably gonna happen again. Yeah, it sends me, it logs me out, and it sends me to my own profile, and then I have to log in from this page. Like if I go back to the Steam homepage, it'll still show me, you know, logged in. It'll allow me all the clickable links and stuff that have to do with being logged in. But if I log in from this page, it then sends me to my profile again. And then if I leave this page and go to Steam and go to my wish list, then I can actually ac access it. But it's fucking so irritating that I have to d take those extra, like, two or three steps to get to my damn wish list so I can see if there's anything that I haven't seen that's, like, it's on sale, it's on my wish list. And, uh, yeah, it bugs me. But I'm starting to get, I need to stop buying things, period. <laughs> not because, like, yeah, it, it has nothing to do with, like, the monetary side of it. I would never, ever put myself at a point where, like, I was in danger of being, like, financially ruined, I guess, over games. That would never happen. I would never allow myself to get below a threshold that I cannot easily be past. I mean, obviously, it's just that's, that's what creating a budget is. That's what you do. You have to create a budget, and you cannot go over that regardless of what it is. You just put aside a certain amount of money that you can spend on hobbies, and you never, ever dip into, you know, your livelihood budget. You always keep your livelihood budget for your livelihood. And so, it has nothing to do with that, but it's just the simple fact that I have recently hit 200 games owned on Steam, and I have, like, played maybe a quarter of those and it's not that's not even like i've beaten all of them or whatever but it's just kind of like installing it playing it realizing like yeah not really interested because you know it was one of those games that was on sale for like 99 cents or two dollars or something like that so i was like i may like this it's uh it's in a genre that i appreciate so maybe i'll enjoy it maybe i'll try and play it and i end up not liking it so i throw it into a folder and i say all right no thank you i don't want to play that no more or games that like i pick them up and i try them and I enjoy them, but I recognize that they're gonna be like 20 or 30 hours to beat. I'm like, all right, I want to play you, but I don't have time for you right now. So I throw that in another folder that just, you know, I, I'm interested, but this is something that I'm gonna have to dedicate time to that I don't have right now, that kind of thing. So I've been kind of, you know, like just picking them up and trying to play them as I go along. And uh, yeah, like I said, I've probably maybe hit maybe a third of them at the most. Somewhere in between, the realm of 25% of the games, or 33% of the games I've actually played. And so it's kind of like, why do I keep adding games at an impossible to sustain rate? Like, I will never get to all of these unless I drop out of school, quit my job, ruin my life, and then I'll no longer have internet, 
uh, my computer, I will no longer have a place to charge my computer to even play these games to begin with, I will be fucked. So why am do I keep buying these games before I even finish them? Is It's ridiculous, and I need to, it's kind of one of those points where it's like, yeah, it would be nice to have, but for all I know, like, like I said, Transistor right now is on sale for 66% off. For all I know, by the time I actually get to a point where, I mean, now granted, I wouldn't actually play Transistor. Um, I would, I wouldn't even use the soundtrack because I already own the soundtrack. It would purely be a purchase to support Super Giant Games. That's it. And I've done that before. I purchased, uh, I already had the Bastion soundtrack. Uh, and I got that from a Humble Bundle. That's where I actually got into a lot of the original, kind of like, huge indie games that really exploded the indie scene to begin with. It was a Humble Bundle that included uh, Super Meat Boy, uh, Torchlight, I believe. It had Lim- I already said Limbo. Uh, it had Bastion in it. Um, Amnesia. So, I think it was Sword and Sorcery, maybe it was called? There were a bunch of- there were a bunch of games, but I know, for me, Limbo, Bastion, and Super Meat Boy were the main ones. Those were the big ones, uh, that I ended up purchasing, both in Humble Bundle, and I ended up getting them on Xbox Live as well. And, through that Humble Bundle, I got the soundtrack for Bastion in it. But I actually physically purchased the Bastion soundtrack from Supergiant Games, so I could have- I mean, just partially so I could have the physical CD of it. But also just, you know, just support their business. And they also had some really awesome artwork. Like, I highly suggest if you're interested in any kind of, you know, like, game artwork. And you like those games, either Transistor or Bastion. Check out their website. Just Google Supergiant. I think it might just be Supergiantgames.com, but I'm not 100%. So just Google Supergiant Games. Check out their store. They have a bunch of awesome shit. I have gotten uh, a Transistor poster. I've gotten two uh, artwork things from Bastion both the Bastion and Transistor soundtracks, and I even got uh, an 8 gigabyte flash drive that comes in the form of the sword that Red uses in Transistor, and then like you can just pull off the end of the sword, and then that's where the flash drive is. And it's really awesome, it's quite cool. So, highly suggest checking them out and seeing if you can't support them. So anyway, obviously I'm not getting anything. Let's go check and see if maybe something showed up. That's saddening. Let's just, let's just watch some people. Let's watch some people. I'll put myself on pass. Bam. Pass. Idle. We'll watch people. We'll try to learn something about this game. Although, it just sent me from one bar to two bars. Also, why is it... I guess maybe it's including the initial little cell tower-ish looking thing. That's one of the original bars, but I was just saying, like, technically that's only one bar right there, which is saying, too, like, everything has one less than it should. It's a little confusing. But I really am, like, I'm enjoying this game. It is definitely... I do have my problems with this game, and I will freely admit, they would have been... They're still the same problems I had beforehand. The reason why I didn't import um, was largely because I thought the game kind of... Not necessarily lacked depth, but that there wasn't really any particular... Trying to, I, it all has to come down to combo damage. That's what it comes down to. That's why um, I was kind of just iffy on it because you see everybody doing their combos, and it was kind of irrelevant what they were doing. Like maybe there was like a 500 damage difference here or there, but almost always, every single character, no matter who they were, every single combo they got was somewhere in the realm of 3k to 3.5k. There was never any real divergence from that, you know, like there wasn't any, you had to cut this off because you started with an A move, and so you only got 1500 damage instead of 3k, but if you started with a B move, you would have gotten that 3k. That kind of thing, it was just very universally, you get 3k off of this confirmed. That's it, that's how, and that was a big detractor for me, because it, it, it it's just, I don't particularly like 
that facet. I, it's hard to explain because it's not like, yo, this is a game. Obviously, it's not a game ruiner for me. I'm playing the game. But I feel like there's definitely a place for that kind of a thing. And that's what, you know, I've done with Bordeaux. No matter what combo I do, I get 3k minimum. And the most I have gotten on any combo so far... This doesn't include uh, utilizing grid cancels. I don't know if that's actually what they're called, but, you know, using basically what this game's rapid cancels are. Uh, without delving into those to extend combos even further, the most I've gotten is 4.2k. And that's that was from using the 200-meter uh, super special thing. Using regular 100-meter supers at the end of my combos. Boost, I think, 3,800 maybe the max that I've gotten with those and so I mean there's there's very little it's almost everything and it's the same for every character you just all every character gets like three around through somewhere around 3k is what everybody confirms into and that's just how the game is and that kind of it just kind of made me feel like there's probably not much depth to the game and we'll see like I don't know like I said I don't know a huge amount about this game systems but it was just, this game came out amidst a lot of other stuff. Uh, I was sour on Arc System Works to begin with, even though technically this isn't an Arc System Works game, they just pr they did, uh, produced it, published it. I think they're the same exact thing. But this wasn't like created by Arc System Works, this wasn't something made by their in-house team, they just supplied the money to distribute it. Um, so it's definitely not... It, but it was still that point where, you know, irrelevant to all of the all of that, it still means they're getting some of my money if I buy the game. And that was, you know, around a time when I was definitely at my lowest opinion of Arc System Works. I did not appreciate what they were doing with Blaze Blue. Um, they had just announced a patch for Persona 4 Arena again, right after Persona 4 Arena dropped for the rest of the world. Aside from Europe, sorry. It's always that's all for how it is for our system works. Yo, this game is finally out and about in the universe. Unless you live in Europe, then you're shit out of luck. Sorry. Um, but yeah, so it definitely came out at a time when my opinion of Arc System Works was at an all-time negative. And so that did it no favors either. But I was just watching the game and I just felt like, you know what, man? Not there's not really the character design isn't really doing a ton for me. Like, you know, I'm not saying the character design sucks, but there wasn't anything that really just stood out to me. But I think that was actually largely just due to the fact that there were so many, there wasn't much character diversity in what I was watching. Like, you know, I would, ba I would basically watch the East Coast stuff. Uh, that was because they are streamed by, you know, like Arturo Sanchez or Team Spooky, one of those, which are some of the bigger streamers. I didn't really see much West Coast of anything. And so you'd see, like, Merkava was a big one. Uh, a ton of people played Waldstein. A decent amount of people played Gordeaux, even though I don't think there were really any good Gordeaux. But there just, there wasn't much of a character diversity. So, like, Seth is actually a character that I think is considered one of the worst, damn, 3,000 games played. Holy shit. I believe Seth is considered one of the worst characters in the game, but he actually looks like a character I would want to play. Um... But yeah, it's just watching streams, I didn't really see anything besides Merkava, Gordo, Waldstein. Um, a little bit of Carmine and a little bit of Hilda. And that was kind of it. Like, there really wasn't anybody else. That's so good. That's so strong. Basically having, like, a three-quarter screen command grab, I think is what that is. Oh. Fucked up, getting hit by Merkava. I can't believe this, this dude has 3k plus games played and he's not pressing his advantage. Uh, I mean, I guess that's also, a, that's another, actually that was the other big thing that caused me to not want to play the game is because you had the characters that were commonly played, Merkava, uh, whoever the hell Lord Knight played, I, can't, I don't even know her name, but like the little samurai girl. I guess I shouldn't call her little because she's like twice the size of the, whoever the fuck is named later. But how it was just kind of, you know, you have the, 
people that were considered top three, which were Murakawa, Gordo, Waltz, and then there were a couple of other characters in there that can also be used. But that have like a three quarter screen to full screen reach on all of their pokes. And then the rest of the cast just doesn't have that. And so it's just kind of like if you're not playing one of this cast, you are already starting from a massive disadvantage because you don't have a character that can easily control the screen in that manner, which sucks. That was another big thing about it was me thinking like, there's no point in trying to play this game because it's a game where if you don't pick one of these three characters, you're done from the get-go. And that was just my opinion of it. Like I, like I said, the big factor to all of that was the simple fact that there just weren't enough there wasn't enough character diversity played elsewhere for me to actually have an effective look into whether or not that was true. And so we'll see. We'll see. Did Merkava do pass? Or what's going on here? I'm trying to pick a different character, I guess? I don't know what's happening. But I should actually just try to... Because I know for a fact, like, if I play this game, I'm going to play Gordo. Simple fact. I am not going to play another character, but I should at least try them just to kind of understand how they work. That's how. That's what you should always do in every fighting game. You should at least get a basic understanding of every character in the cast, so you at least get a decent look into what they're capable of and what they aren't capable of. Oh yeah, this dude picked Elf. Aren't those dash cans of Gordo Cane? That's actually one of the things I was trying to figure out with Gordo. Was whether or not there was anything dash cans of Gordo. Well, obviously that's a reload bar up top, but how does it work? Is it one of those games where, like... I mean, one of those things where you reload and then... If you press the button, it's in that lighter gray area. That person with you. But yeah, if you press it, it's in that lighter gray area. Maybe it's faster. Barely. Just barely. But yeah, a bunch of games have stuff like that where you can reload and then if you, uh, if you reload within a certain spot, which is obviously that light, lighter for a part of it. Sometimes it just reloads, it just reloads faster, the animation board is faster, you cover faster, whatever. Sometimes it just bullets a damage boost, so like for the rest of that clip. You do 10% more damage, 50% more damage, whatever. I don't know, watch one more. And then I gotta actually go do responsible things. <laughs> Namely, my schoolwork is due tomorrow. I have a lab due tomorrow that I have not started work on at all. Nobody's blamed for that but myself, but it's just, this, the programming class is killing me. Like, prior to this, by far, I had the most fun with programming classes. Like, it's just, because it's like, it's kind of like putting together a puzzle. You have to go find the correct piece to put into the right spot, and then that's all you gotta do. You know, you just, you're putting together a puzzle. It's fun, and then that puzzle does something at the end of it. It's, it's a fun experience. It's enjoyable to do. But... This, the programming teacher, I don't know if this is how he always is. Uh, I had the same teacher the first... This is the third level, basically, of this chain of classes. And the first two, I had the same professor who I... He was awesome. He was a fantastic teacher. Um, but he doesn't teach this level that I'm at right now. He only does the first two. And so I have a new teacher this time around. So like I said, I don't know if he, this is just how he is. Or if... Um, or if it's because, like he said, he's trying something new this semester, a new... Basically, rather than kind of following along the book and doing the projects as the book supplied them. Which, granted, you know, like, doing... Coming up with something on your own, like your own curriculum, things you're going to be more involved in. Uh, you 
exploding. You don't succeed. So that's a bonus right there that you're more invested in it as a teacher. And then obviously you know more about it as a teacher because you wrote it personally. Obviously, I would hope you would know plenty about what you wrote. Um, but it seems like he kind of just had the concept of it in his head, but he didn't really make a, an actual plan for it, and so he's just kind of doing things as it comes along, and so it feels very disorganized, and very, I don't know, I guess not optimal. That's not exactly the word I was looking for, but it's, you know, there have been a ton of times where it's basically been like, Half of the class period has gone by and he's still telling us, you know, like, this is how you do this, this is what, uh, you would use in these places, these are the commands you would looking for to learn how they use, this is the database, uh, that you would want to look into to figure out how everything works on the service ball, well, all this shit. And then, you know, once it gets about halfway through and then all of a sudden there's no moment where he's just kind of like, you know what? This is a really ugly way of doing it, I don't think I like it very much. Let me, let me look into doing something different, it's just kind of like, that's 45 minutes of our lives just wiped away, just gone. Like, come on, man. It's not that bad. And so, it, that's irritating me. And so I have, like, no motivation to do the work. Which is bad, obviously. You want to be willing to do that work. Oh, shit, was that? That was supposed to be, that was supposed to be the last one. But we're gonna do one more. We're gonna see a new, another new character. We're gonna see Hyde, maybe. Why are they gonna put a Hyde in the game and not a Jekyll? That's my question. Oh, it's a spider dude. I was gonna say, oh, we're gonna see a character I don't know much about, but never mind. <laughs> never mind, I know a decent amount about spider dudes. That was another character that somebody, one person on the East Coast used. And they were decent with him. But I definitely don't, like, if you ask me to tell you, like, which moves he was using, like, oh, you do 5A, oh, you do 5B, oh, you do 5C, oh, you do 5C. He's a little flying rat thing. I noticed that the entire last match, but I never actually saw it do anything. Ooh, that tick roll, damn! That tick throw where she stabs you in the ball. That's nice. Well, the ball's fucked up, dude. Like, who raised her? Shit, right? Hi there. What's going on? That's dirty. Well, I guess it's not really dirty. It looks like an audible. But that could have been dirty. <laughs> Bro? Y'all motherfuckers need to confirm yo shit! That Free kick. Free kick. Dive for it, it's individual. It was certainly looking to be approaching 3k! I thought like Cougar shot or something sounds like the same Cougar, but obviously she ain't speaking English, so. You like Cougars? Yo, them frame traps, that should have been 3k! Yeah, dropped it! Oh, that's a person. That's a shame. Alright, oh, like I don't want to be R.I.P. Zero. Get up and cut! Get to cut it up. Oh, I'm can you do that when you combo that bail off thing? Is that like a burst? Or is that just... You can only do that in control. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're dead. Dang. I don't 
rage. Is he gonna rage put out of that? Okay, good. <laughs> Just to say, come on, man. Don't do that. That's not nice. That was fun. I'm glad we stuck around for that match. We got a little bit of flashiness at the end. Dude, seriously, that little flying rat didn't do a damn thing. <laughs> if you're there, you should be doing something. Jerk. Alright, so, anyway. Next time we come back, maybe. Oh, uh, no. I know, like I said, I need to go do responsible things, but even if I didn't have to go do responsible things, I would probably get destroyed by somebody with an orange icon if they're the same as the blaze blue colors.